Thanks for joining me. I'm Barry Shore, Professor Emeritus at the University of New Hampshire and Head of Product Development here at SSGI. Several decades ago, it became apparent that we needed a framework to guide software development if we were to succeed in building effective software applications. First, we borrowed from project management's waterfall approach, but it proved disappointing. Then came Agile and Scrum. It was an improvement, yet project disappointments and failures were still too common. We needed a framework that could improve outcomes and speed development from code to deployment. DevOps made all the difference. DevOps is a philosophy, methodology, and collection of tools that combine software development, dev, and IT operations, ops, to develop, test, deploy, and maintain software applications and services efficiently and with appropriate speed. It is a framework that covers the full range of development from writing code to deploying an application. So not only does it address writing code, but also the infrastructure on which that code is run. The process from code to deployment includes many stages and is clearly complex. But thanks to DevOps, much of it has been automated. And since both efficiency and speed are objectives, automated tools become indispensable. Indeed, understanding these tools and the concepts behind them is instrumental in learning how DevOps works. These tools include microservices, virtual machines, containers, orchestration, infrastructure as code, and continuous integration. Let's briefly look at each one. First, microservices. Because we are dealing with complex processes, it helps to decompose them into smaller entities. For example, an order fulfillment process could be decomposed into orders, inventory, and shipping. And each of these entities could be assigned a separate computer environment, which in DevOps are called microservices. Working in an environment of microservices helps to simplify a complex process. Next, virtual machines. Not unrelated to the role of microservices is virtual machines. They too help to organize and simplify. A virtual machine, VM, is a software implementation of a computer system that runs on top of a physical computer or server. It enables the creation of separate and isolated environments that behave like a real computer, each one including a virtual CPU, memory storage, and network interface. This allows multiple VMs to share the resources of a single physical machine, making it possible to run different applications and operating systems on the same hardware without conflicts. In a complex environment, we also need a way to manage code effectively. Here we can also benefit from organization, simplification, and flexibility. DevOps delivers all three by packaging the code in what is called containers. In fact, applications can have hundreds or thousands of them. These containers are self-sufficient and portable. By portable, we mean that they can run across different computing environments. Further, they can be individually tested before a collection of them is run together. One of the reasons they are flexible is that each container includes the necessary components to run an application. As a result, they can be run in different computing environments. Next is orchestration. Virtual machines and containers organize and simplify the software development process. But we end up with many virtual machines and many containers. What is then needed is a way to integrate all of them into a functioning full application. That process of integration 
is called orchestration. Its purpose is to ensure that all the different components, including containers, virtual machines, and microservices work together seamlessly and efficiently while delivering the desired functionality to end users. Next is infrastructure as code. When an application is built, DevOps also assumes responsibility for the infrastructure on which the code will run. So it must configure computers, databases, servers, and networks. Again, DevOps can help. How does it help? Well, imagine building a house in Denver by sitting down at your computer in Atlanta and clicking on a few keys. Everything from the foundation to the roof is automatically built. As far-fetched as this seems, it is the basic principle behind infrastructure as code. We need only to click just a few keys and the infrastructure is automatically created. We can build containers and establish microservices and virtual machines, not by manually configuring them, but by a few clicks on the keyboard. Then there's continuous integration. Another basic principle of DevOps is continuous testing and integration. This means that the application is tested at every reasonable opportunity from the time the code is written until it is finally deployed. At every opportunity, it is determined if the code works, if it works when integrated with other code, and if it works when tested with the infrastructure. It is through continuous testing and integration that the application avoids problems that could occur later in the cycle. Problems that could lead to delays and even failure. Finally, let's briefly look at DevOps software. These tools are available from many sources, some of which are open source. Here is a sampling of the most popular choices. Git, Docker, Kubernetes, Jenkins, Ansible, Puppet, AWS, and Google. This has been a very brief overview of DevOps. To dive deeper, consider enrolling in SSGI's DevOps Fundamentals course. It is written to be accessible, regardless of background and experience, and will serve not only to help you become more familiar with DevOps concepts, but also to provide an introduction for those who wish to further their professional skills in this area. The DevOps Fundamentals course should take approximately 20 hours, after which you should be adequately prepared to take the certification exam. SSGI not only offers certification in Scrum and DevOps, but also in a wide range of process improvement, management, and leadership areas. Thanks for watching.